Hello, my name is Lowell Vanderpool, and this channel is dedicated to IT students, IT professionals, and anyone who enjoys learning technical subjects. I'm in day two of recovering my domain here in my home network. My domain controller was on this NVMe hard drive. I had both my C drive, D drive, and I had my backup drive on a separate disk, but this totally died. And of course, there went my VM. This had all my, my roles, my schema master, PDC, all five roles were on this, you know, Murphy's Law. All my roles were on this one. But when this went down, of course, lots of problems. I did have a second domain controller. So now I'm doing all the technical work of grabbing those roles by force and moving them to another domain controller that I do have. I always run two domain controllers at all times. I have a Veeam backup. It was not working correctly. And my internal backup, of course, died because my domain controller died. FISMA roles are basically the Microsoft separated the responsibility of a domain controller into multiple roles. Admins distribute these roles across several DCs or have them all on one DC, like Mr. Vanderpool. He had everything on one DC. And when that DC went down, this might blessed little NVMe, all these very important intelligent services that make up your FISMO roles was on one particular domain controller. And you need those features in your domain in order to actively run Active Directory. There are five FISMO roles in Active Directory. Two, two are forest wide, and that's schema master and domain naming master. There are three of the FISMO roles, the RID Master, P PDC Emulator, and the Infrastructure Master, and they are domain only or domain wide. In Windows, the Schema Master, there's one per forest. Domain Naming Master, one per forest. RID Master, one per domain. Primary Domain Controller, one per domain. As I'm moving forward, what do I need to do? Well, I've got all my FISMO roles on the bad, dead NVMe. I've got a good domain controller, but I don't have any of those roles. So one of the things that I have to do now is verify that my good DC is good, that the Active Directory is good. It appears that all things are okay. I'm gonna to have to modify some DNS values because everybody was looking at this one. So we're gonna to have to modify some DNS data so that they're now looking at my good DC even though it doesn't have these roles yet, I need them to look at it. Then I'm going to go out and seize those FISMO roles. We're going to use either PowerShell or command line utilities to go out and seize those roles, bring them over to my Win 2016 DC2. Then I get, if I get that all correct and that looks good, then I've got to remove the bad DC, which is DC3, out of my Active Directory and also remove it from DNS. And then validate health. That's very important. Once I get that done, check and check and make sure that everything is looking okay before I bring up a new domain controller, allow the domain data to pass to the new domain controller. I want to make sure that DC Win 2016 DC2 is rock solid. So I'm going to use DC Diag. I'm going to use the replication tools to verify that as much as I possibly can, I've got a good solid Active Directory before I bring up a new one and push and replicate the data to the new domain controller 
so that I'm back to having two domain controllers at all times. Now, before I could get wild and crazy and start using PowerShell or any of the command line tools to go out and seize those FISMO roles and bring them over to this domain controller, which is working, Win 2016 DC2, I had to do a couple things. Because I am grabbing very crucial services and forcing them to be moved, I have to be a member, and I'm gonna slide down to users, I need to be a member of the schema admin group and I need to be a member of the enterprise admins group. So right now my logon is a domain admin. I needed to go in and modify my logon account with an additional membership in the enterprise admin and a membership in the schema admin. That would allow me the authority to do the things that I need to do by seizing these roles. I added my domain admin account as a member of these two additional powerful groups. Normally, I don't have myself in those memberships, but in this case, I have to. Then I have to log off, log back on, which allows Active Directory to recognize that these new groups are now a part of my logon. And then I can run PowerShell or I can run command line with the authority of these groups. Now I attempted to use PowerShell once this membership to these groups was done, logged off, logged back on. I attempted to run PowerShell to move these Active Directory roles, and there they are, and move them over from the dead DC3 to the active DC2. That would not work. For some reason, I could not get it to work. So I moved to NTDS Util. This did work and I had to follow these steps and one by one pull the schema master, the naming master, the RID master, the PDC, the infrastructure master off of what was a dead DC to now the working WIN 2016 DC2. This did work. It took took me a while to get this operational. I was able to query my DC2, which now contains all these FISMO roles, and I could see that I indeed had all of them. Let's take a look at the results. Here you can see I do the net DOM query FISMO. You can see all of those schema master, uh, all of those FISMO roles have been forced and moved to my Win 2016 DC2, which is my working domain controller. Now what I want to do is then again use the DC Diags and replication tools to verify that as much as I can tell, my DC database looks good and seems to be working. I now need to remove my failed DC metadata. So I'm going to use the NTDSL util and go in and clean up and get rid of all of the information of WIN 2016-DC3, which is on my dead NBME. Now I have my shell ready. So let's do the NTDSUtil, and it needs, and notice it pops up another command shell. This is running this unique utility. We're going to do meta. And we're going to do connections and connect to server win 2016 DC2. And remember, DC2 is my working unit. It's now connected. And we're going to quit and select the oper operation target. We're going to list domains and we have one which is we're going to select zero which the domain below is my only domain so i'm going to select and i'm going to select domain zero we're going to list sites and i have two sites and i'm going to zero that's my domain for homelab.techsavvyproductions.com we're going to list 
servers in sight. And I can see here you can see DC2, which is good. This one is working. This one is bad. That one, I need to get rid of that information. I'm going to select server number one. And that one is this, you can see here's my information about that DC3, which is on my dead NVMe. And I'm going to remove selected server. Let me quit. Remove. Now it's prompting me and saying, do you really, really, really want to do that? And I'm going to say, yep. And so that is now gone. So now I need to go into DNS and clean up DNS. So let's go ahead and go. And I'm going to run the DNS tool. And I'm going to go. So here I'm in my DNS manager. And here I can see a record for the no longer functioning DC3. So here under my, my DNS server, I'm looking at my MSDCS and my domain name. I'm going to go right here and go to properties. And I want to look at name servers. These are all my DNS servers. And that one no longer exists. So I want to remove that one. Let's go ahead and remove that one. This one also doesn't exist. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that one up too while I'm at it and apply. And that got rid of my SRV records for the bad DC. We encourage you to become a member of our channel. It's $2.99 a month. You can become a member for six months, for a year, whatever you would like. We really appreciate your support. Our videos are designed to teach and train. We provide video notes, PowerPoints, and all the resources we possibly can to our members. And I just encourage you, if what we produce is helpful to you, become a member. It helps with the cost of producing this type of material. And we really appreciate your support.